Hello, Husters. So good to be back with y'all today. Thank y'all so much for looking at the video yesterday. And I love y'all. Let's say prayers and I'll tell you what we're going to be eating today. Thank you for this beautiful and blessed day. Have your way. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. And again, I, can, I will continue to pray for the YouTube community. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Okay, y'all. I got up and I cooked. I did some um, baked chicken. I got some collard greens out of Mother's Garden. And I got some cornbread dressing. I have grape soda today because I'm going out a little later and I'll be drinking and I don't want to drink in the earlier part of the day. And so also when I do cornbread dressing, our HEB has this thing called pineapple, coconut, mango. And so, you know, this is what I put on my cornbread dressing. So, yay. Let's get it started. I'm hungry too. You know, I thought that, you know, when I don't eat like once in a day, I say, you know, when I'm talking, um, I don't eat much and I, but shoot, I'm gaining weight. What should I do? I'm truly gaining weight. My clothes are getting tight. <sighs> I don't want that weight gain, y'all. So I'm going to have to figure out some Salads and boiled chicken. <laughs> Something. Oh, come on, y'all. Come on in. Take a seat. Bring your cocktail, your Kool-Aid, your soda, your water. Bring your snacks, your food, and let's sit down. We're going to sip and chat today. Now, before y'all leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that, that notification bell, ding, down, ding, down. So every time I upload a video, you're going to be notified. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. And so if you can comment below and tell me what I can eat to not gain all these pounds that I don't want. So click, 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 sip, sip the good stuff. You know, I love Shasta, y'all. Shasta just come with a big bowl. Bowl, that's that Shasta. That's old school. Okay, I need a fork, y'all, to eat with. So, y'all, yes, my mother gave me some uh, collard greens out of her garden. She has a really big garden. And um, uh, she has mustard greens, collard greens, cabbage greens, lettuce, uh, bell pepper, um... She has a uh, green onion, cantaloupe when it's in season to plant. She has cabbage greens, you name it, tomatoes, peppers. She has it in her garden, y'all. So it's so refreshing that a lot of times y'all going to see some kind of vegetable in my plate uh, is from my mother's garden. So, you know, it's a little healthy. So here we go. These collard greens, y'all. My God, my garden. You know, I used to use, um, I used to put in uh, ham hocks or salt bacon, but I went back to the old school and I fried my bacon. Look at that. It's good and hot too, y'all. Take a bite. Yum, yum. Give me some. Yes. It's hot. good and I just simply bake these uh, legs in the oven on a baking sheet I did put some fall paper down I don't like that clean up y'all and then I put a little Crisco oil I gave it a good season let it soak for 30 minutes let it bake uncovered for 45 minutes with half of the time I flipped them over and then once they got to the temperature of 165, I just put it under the brawler to get a more darker color. 
we're gonna taste it. Mm. Cornbread dressing is just good. I don't care what time, what type of year. But y'all know I'm a left old girl, right? <laughs> I took that out the freezer. I don't have no more though. This is my last bag. <laughs> Mm, it was so good with that sauce too. Mm. And then the seasons of the year, you know, they have they have a whole lot of different um, flavors as well. They got raspberry and peach and I fell in love with this one. The peach. It's good. It really is good. Almost like that jelly I had. Good. It's that oven baked chicken, y'all. Take a bite. Mm. You know, when you do, I do not want to get my darn show dirty. When you do smoked paprika on, on poultry meat, it's good. So how y'all doing today? What is today bringing y'all? Who have y'all encouraged today with a smile, a handshake, a high five, a kind word? I want y'all to know all that is free. I always cut off my head. This is so good. Oh, a And so, can I tell y'all, my mother is 76. She's going to be 77 in March. And she still tends to that garden. She said it helps her to stay healthy. It helps her with strengthen her legs and her arms, and it gives her something to do. She said because she know whenever a day may come that she can't do nothing, it's going to be over for her. That's what she did. So I said, keep on, honey, tending to your garden. But her vegetables are so different. When, and, you know, for when you go in the store in the produce department, it does have a whole different flavor, y'all. It's fresher or something. You know where where they live in that community, fifty five and older. They gave them some plots for a garden, and my mama and one of her friends are the only ones that has stuff in the garden. So. Hers is huge. I have a few videos on her garden as well. When y'all see green onion, five and six foot tall, and the smell. Mm. Mm. To use them in your dishes, it's really good, y'all. Nothing like the green onion in the store. Nothing like that green onion in the store. I remember when I was married and my husband and I bought the property in the house in the country. We had a garden too. And let me tell you, I grew, I grew a uh, collard greens. That right, that first snap, I had to do a lot of reading because I didn't, had never done a garden before. That I, I realized that that first snap after the cold winter, them young collard greens, ooh, ooh, you talk about a punch of flavor. Good. Well, my old subscribers, my new subscribers, I now have 63 subscribers. So I think I'm going. It's, it's a little organically slow, but slow is not bad. So when I get to 100, I ask... Uh, Black denim. When I do, when I get to a hundred, you know, should I celebrate my first one hundred? He says celebrate every milestone. So, 
I'm going to do my first 100 with something. I don't know what yet. And um, I guess I'll do 100, 500, and then 1,000. I don't know. Y'all tell me because I'm new to this. I don't know. Help me to figure it out. Uh, my milestones, that is. This is some good chicken. I don't want. You know, it's seasoned so good, I don't even want no hot sauce on it, y'all. Mm mm. Just, it's just, the flavor is just really good. Mm hmm. Let me tell y'all something. I don't know how many times y'all heard me say this. That Greek seasoning. Mm hmm. It's good. If y'all see me eating a lot of chicken, this is one of my favorites, y'all. Along with seafood. But my doctor say three months of seafood. Three three times a month is all the seafood she wants me to eat. I mean, three days in a month. Did I say that right? Mm hmm I don't fry, y'all. The only time I fry is in the uh, the air fryer. Now, I love that air fryer for some chicken wings. Mm. I haven't tried it for too much more, but um, a few of the people I, I watch, they use their air fryer for a lot of things. So, like um, KC Connection last evening, her husband did some cauliflower onion wings. And they had a fabulous crunch on it, too. And she said it was good with that. He had some vegan ketchup as well. So I'm going to start using mine. So, uh, uh, Steph and Tosh used theirs a lot as well. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I did copy out for Tosh when she uh, did her uh, pot stickers in the, in the air fryer. Yeah, they came out good and crunchy. And, ooh, it was good. I, I almost ate them all. Mm-hmm. One time I did a steak. And you know, if I have steak twice a year, one time is too many, as I said, but I did it in the air fryer. And I followed the directions to a T, even with the resting stage. Y'all, y'all ate the whole thing because it was good. <laughs> mm hmm. Ooh. These greens are really good. You know what else I like to do with collard greens, y'all? I like to uh, mix cabbage in it. Cabbage and collard greens together, oh, it's so good. Mm hmm This is good. I was glad. They come when I can uh, Woo! have some time with two of my subscribers. I get to that 1,000. Y'all look at that. That just looks freaking delicious. Look at that. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just delicious. You know, in the cornbread bread dressing, got lots of gizzards and all that other good, good stuff up in there. Mm hmm Man, this, is, this is really good. This is really good, y'all. Mm. 
Well, I already told y'all on Saturday and Sunday, it's going to be free fall. Talk about nothing, just a little shenanigans. I love reading comments, and I love, I I, I really do watch a lot of uh, Mubangas. And some I really, really do love their channel. Uh, Beast Mode and his cute wife had a very nice topic yesterday about on and off again relationships. Mm hmm. It's not good to be in an on and off relationship, though. It really isn't. I've been there. I heard at the end. I don't ever. I'm going to do that again. The first breakup, we got to realize it's always for a reason. Don't go back. Mm -mm -mm. Don't go back. But if y'all haven't seen it yet, go 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 uh, look her up. It was very good. Had a, a, so a lot of good uh, replies as well. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't know if I can eat another chicken egg. Yeah, I'm full. And I don't know because, you know, I'm going to all this cornbread. You <laughs> know, I don't know if I'm changing or it's because of my mood bonging and, and the meals that I eat. I've never been one to eat a lot of bread, but I have been eating a lot of bread lately. That's probably what my weight gain is. My body was, is probably saying, girl, you're putting all this dough in me. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I notice all my clothes are fitting tight. What do y'all do to keep the weight out? Comment below. Let me see who I can be encouraged from. Uh, I even thought that I do a video every single day. Because I'm trying to grow my audience, actually. So I, I eat a lot of different things. But y'all know sometimes I come back them leftovers. <laughs> I'm just thinking that, I don't know, I don't want to stop doing videos every day because I'm really growing my audience. So comment below, help me out, y'all. That's what we're supposed to do, help me out, I don't know. Maybe, I'm not a vegetarian, so... I'm thinking I love vegetables, though. Maybe sometime I can just have a straight veggie plate. Or a piece of baked chicken or roasted chicken with a nice crisp salad. Or a low-carb pasta salad. Can I, is there such thing as a low-carb pasta salad? I don't know. I'm gonna have to. Get, I'm just gonna have to Google everything and figure out uh, at least three days a week what can I eat that's more lighter on the body. Uh, I got some rolls. <laughs> well, I already had rolls. They just got a little thicker. <laughs> I'm ready to get out. I'm off tomorrow. 
get out and go to that place where we go to dance off that groan and sexy music. Two step. Have a couple of drinks. Mm. Well, y'all, I ate my veggies. Look at that. And I'm full. That's what I'm saying. See, maybe some days if I can just do vegetables. Now, um, I know that cornbread dressing is not a vegetable. <laughs> and maybe that's the one that has sticked to my ribs so fast because I drink that soda water too. That is not healthy as well. Well, I don't drink a lot of sweet cocktails. I do have vodka and grapefruit juice. I don't think that that's too damaging. Maybe if I stop putting the cranberry in there. But even when I was drinking it before Mubong and I didn't gain no weight, it's this, it's this food. So I might have to, <laughs> I'm just talking to y'all. Maybe one of them country boys that like these thick girls. <laughs> these collard greens are really good. Mm -hmm. That was good, y'all. Really good. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get everything in a little nick and cranny. Y'all remember I said yesterday? Mm -mm, I think day before yesterday. Mm -hmm. Just told you, you better eat that food on your plate. There's too many people starving in this world. Too many people starving. Well, I ate my food. I want no more chicken. I think I'm... I don't know what made me do chicken. I think because I had dressing. So. I, mean, I kind of want some more dressing, y'all. Ain't that shame? More of the dressing, less than the chicken. I want more of the chicken. And I know I just keep looking at it, don't I? <laughs> I don't want no more, y'all. I am full. That was good. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I'm glad y'all came back. So all my new sisters that came in today, don't leave without hitting that subscribe button, that notification bell right on the side, ding down, ding down. Uh, don't forget to share, like, and comment. Now I'm, I'm going to be looking for some ideas down below, uh, some help to eat differently without gaining all that weight, or what can I do to for exercise or well I got Sean T. I do have some Sean T, y'all. And I did well with him five years ago. Yeah. I wish I could upload a video. I ha I did have a six pack, a four pack or something. <laughs> but it, it was it was toned, y'all. Yeah, I was looking good. So at any rate, y'all, thank y'all so much for coming back. I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. And so with that said, I'm gonna bid you guys a very, very blessed day. And know that you are not alone. You have a God that loves you so much. So with that said, until I see you guys on tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.